Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from AAA Excel English. Today we are going to look at important topic for data analysis. We are going to see how we can perform the frequency distribution analysis. Let's say that we have a group of customers and the revenue generated by those customers for a certain period of time. Now we need to classify these customers by the revenue buckets or revenue bins. In other words, we need to see how many customers generated revenue from 0 to 100 and how many customers generated revenue from 100 to 200 and so on and so forth. This is exactly what we are going to see today. However, we are going to see it in four different ways. At the beginning, we are going to start with the pivot tables. Then we are going to see that we can use a chart in order to do a similar job. And then we are going to see a worksheet function called frequency function. And finally, we are going to see how we can perform this analysis using Power Query. After watching the video, in the comments, please let me know which one of these methods is new to you and which one you usually use. Let's move over to my laptop. Let's have a quick look at our example for today. I have a table containing the data for some customers. It contains actually 1,000 customers. So I have in the first column the customer ID, then the region. I have only four regions, west, south, east, and north. And also I have the revenue that realized for each and every customer for a certain period. The requirement is to just classify or categorize this revenue according to those bins. In the small table, I have four bins or four categories from 0 to 10,000. 10,000 to 20,000, 20,000 to 30,000, and above 30,000. What is required is the count of the customers that falls inside this bin or inside this category. So between 0 and 10,000, I have 304 customers. From 10,000 to 20,000, I have 465, and so on and so, and so forth, up to uh, 25 customers above 30,000. So at the beginning, let's try to do this using the pivot tables. I'm going to select any cell inside this table and I'm going to the insert tab from the left hand side I have the pivot table option I can just select from table range existing worksheet and I'm going to put it in column G and then click on OK here you go you have the pivot table placeholder and the pivot table fields window let me give it a quick name I'm going to call it frequency distribution and then I'm going to start to build my pivot table I'm going to start by just selecting the revenue and put it in the values and for sure and by default it will give me the total of this column. But this is not exactly what I want. I need the count not the sum. So I'm going to the pivot table fields and I'm going to change the function here from value field settings. I'm going to select the count and then click on OK and here you go. I have my southern customer. Now I need to do the classification. The classification will be also by revenue. So I'm going to select the revenues and I'm going to put it inside the rows. Here you go. You have list of all the possible revenues that I have in the original table and the number of occurrence for each and every instant of revenue. So the revenue of 2,456 occurred twice. The revenue of 2,484 uh, occurred only once and so on and so forth till the end of the table. But it's not exactly what I want. I need to change this into ranges, not a specific number. I need to transfer it into a range between 0 to 10,000, 10,000 to 30,000, and so on and so forth. In order to do so, I can achieve it through the grouping. So I can select any row, right click and click on group. And here you go, I can just build my groups. I'm going to start by 0. And also I know that the data is, uh, the maximum number is less than 40. So I'm going to put here 40,000. And I need each and every step or the size of each and every bucket to be like 10,000. So I'm going to click on OK. And here you go. I have exactly what I need from 0 to 9999, 304, from 10,000 to 1999, 465, and so on and so forth. The beauty about pivot table that you can also add more categories. As long as you have additional categories here, like the region, I can also analyze the data using the region. So I can just drag the regions into the columns. And here you go. I have a very good analysis for my data. So in the first bin or first category, I have 304 customers, most of them in the West and the least in the East. 
If you look at the third category from 20,000 to 30,000, I have no customers in the West region. If you look at the fourth category from 30,000 to 40,000, I have only customers in the East region. So it is a very powerful analysis that you can do very quickly using pivot tables. The second way to achieve a similar report is to do it directly using the charts. Let me select any cell inside the same table. I'm going directly to insert and from the charts area, I'm going to use this arrow and I'm going to select all charts. From all charts, I can go down to histogram and then click on OK. And here you go. I have the frequency distribution according to the buckets that I have in the horizontal axis. Let me do some quick changes in this report. At the beginning, let me add the labels. So I'm going to the green plus and I'm going to add data labels. And here you go. The first bucket, I have 117, second bucket, 96, and so on and so forth. Let me get rid of the grid lines and also the chart title. And now let's see if we can do some changes to these buckets. I'm going to select the horizontal axis and then right click and format axis. The format axis pane on the right hand side i have here the axis option and i can do some changes the default as you can see automatic is selected so it is deciding the bins automatically i can do some changes like deciding the bin width so i can do like 10,000, trying to achieve similar to what we already have previously so i'm going to select 10,000, and you can see that the size of the bin is really 10,000, but the beginning and the ending is also decided automatically. And instead of deciding the bin width, I can decide the number of bins. So let me add like six bins and see what will happen. So I have now the six bins, but you can see also the size of the bin is also automatically decided. So I'll not be able to achieve the same buckets using this chart. However, I can do a quick analysis as you can see. I can just select the data and draw the chart. I can do some changes to the axis so I can manipulate the width or the number of bins, but I'll not be able to achieve the same. And also I'll not be able to analyze it by category as we did in the pivot table. In the next section, we're going to see how we can achieve the same analysis using the worksheet functions. And I'm going to use the frequency function. In order to use the frequency function, we need at the beginning to decide the bins. So I need to create a column or an array of all the bins that I need in my analysis. So I'm going to enter it manually right now. I'm going to start from zero to 10,000 and then 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and then greater than 30,000. Here I'm going to add another column for my row count or my revenue count. So I'm going to call it count and let's write the frequency function together. I'm going to type equal and then FRE, the first choice is frequency. I'm going to hit tab and then I'm going to follow the screen tip. The first requirement, it requires a data array. Data array will be the column of revenue. So in order to select this column inside the table, I'm going to hover my mouse over the header of the revenue column. I'm going to see this black arrow pointing down. I'm going to do one click and here you go customer data, the name of the table, and the revenue is the name of the column, comma, and it requires the bins array. Here is my bins array. I'm going to select and then close the bracket and hit enter. And here you go, exactly the same result, 304 between zero and 10,000, 465 from 10,000 to 20,000, and so on and so forth. It is identical with the results that we achieved using the pivot table. You can notice that the frequency function is an array function. And because I'm using Excel 365, it is spelling automatically. If you are not using the same version, you can just achieve the same by just hitting the control shift enter. In order to achieve this, I'm going to select the entire column with the first row is the active cell. The first cell on the top is the active cell. And inside the formula bar, I'm going to select and I'm going to hit control shift with enter. And here you go. You can notice that you have the two curly brackets at the beginning at and the ending of your formula, meaning that it is an array function and it can work inside any version in Excel, not only 365. 
the next question will be how we can analyze this data using the region exactly like what we did inside the pivot table I can also achieve this but I'm going to add another function to my analysis in this case I'm going to use the filter function let me take this at the end like a grand total here and I'm going to copy the headers of the pivot table because here is my labels so I'm going to copy the name of the regions so I have here the name of the regions east north south and west let me do some quick formatting my table now is ready I can just start to write my new function so I'm going to start by just doing a filter so I'm going to type equal and then I'm going to use filter the first requirement is what array you want to filter in this case I'm going to filter also the column of the revenue so I'm going to select the column and then comma the condition that I'm going to use in order to filter this column the condition is coming from the region so I'm going to select the column of region and the condition will be equals the title or the header that you have here and then I'm going to close the bracket and hit enter and here you go you have all the revenues related to the east region now I can use my frequency function so I'm going to edit this cell and before the filter function I'm going I'm going to use the frequency function the data array will be the outcome of the filter function the entire table or entire array coming from the filter function and the bins array will stay the same I'm going to select it and then I'm going to hit F4 in order to copy it for the rest of the column close the bracket and hit enter and here you go you will find exactly the same results I can just copy the first row why the first row because here is the actual formula the rest is just the spelled array so I need to copy only the first row or the first cell in this array control C and then control V and now I can add the total line and I think I managed to achieve exactly the same using frequency and filter functions the last part of this video we are going to see how we can achieve the same using power query I'm going to start by just sending this table into power query so from data and then from table range this will trigger the power query editor inside power query editor I have my three columns on the right hand side the name of the query coming from the name of the table let me do a quick change let me add just something like distribution I have two applied steps first one is the source the second one change type I have no problem with both so let's start directly from here what I want to achieve I need to add another column that can help me to classify each and every customer so let's say for the first row I have customer ID number one region west I have the revenue 15426 I need to add another column for the bin so I need to say that this customer is falling into the bin between 10,000 and 20,000 the second one will, will be between 20,000 and 30,000 third one 0 to 10,000 and so on and so forth in order to do so I'm going to add a new column so I'm going to select add column and from add column I'm going to select column from example just I'm going to select the arrow in order to add the options let me first select the region and then from selection so I'm going to select from selection and here you go it will add another column and here you can start to define the new column or how it will behave and power query will try to get the logic and do the job for you this is pretty much similar to the flash fill in Excel let me start by the first line as you can see 15426 this should be between the 10,000 I'm going to type 10,000 and then dash 20,000 and then tab and let's see what will happen you will see the second one it is correctly captured between 20,000 and 30,000 third one 7,000 between 0 and 10,000 fourth one 2,900 between 0 and 10,000 and so on and so forth I think it is now working perfectly also it gave a very good name for the column as you can see like the range and then I can click on OK and here you go you have the added column and you have all the categories captured correctly now I can do just a group by I'm going to select the range column right click and then group by new column name will be count no problem and the operation will be count rows this is exactly what I want so I'm going to click on OK and here you go 
you have your categories or the bins correctly and the counts is exactly correct i have two issues here the first one is the order you can see that zero to ten thousand is not in the right place i need to change the order we'll see at the end how we can solve this and also i need to add the categories let's start by just adding the categories i'm going to edit my group rows just i'm going to click the gear icon here and i'm going to shift it from basic to advanced in order to add another grouping i'm going to add another grouping here and the grouping will be using the region no change in the new column name or the operation so i'm going to click on ok and here you go you have your ranges and you have also your region and you have the count divided according to the regions now i need to simulate the pivot table and also the frequency function table so i need to pivot this column so i need the regions to be in the columns instead of being in the rows so i'm going to select the region column and from transform i'm going to select pivot column and it will ask you only one question where is your value column my value column for sure will be the count so i'm going to select count and click on ok and here you go you have all set you have your ranges and by coincidence it is now correctly sorted however i want to see how we can also make sure it is correctly sorted because in some cases it will be exactly sorted like this one and we can also change the order so we match exactly the tables that we have from the frequency function and from the pivot table let me just stick to this order of columns so let me start by east and then north south and finally west here you go i think i have the order now is correct the final step is to make sure that the ranges are sorted correctly so the technique in order to make sure that this column is sorted is to extract a number from this uh, range from this text and then sort by this column and finally delete this column in order to do so i'm going to select the range column and i'm going to add column and i'm going to extract let me extract text before or after delimiter let me take after delimiter the delimiter will be the dash and then click on ok here you go you have a new column and this column is containing only numbers 10,000 up to 40,000 I'm going to change this to whole number and then I'm going to sort it I'm going to sort ascending actually it is already sorted but in some cases you will find it not sorted so this technique will help you out right click and remove and i think now we are ready we can go to the home and then close and load close and load two let me select table existing worksheet and i'm going to put it just here and click on ok it will load the few rows that we already have you can just add a total column no problem and you can apply the summation here and also you can add something like if you just click alt equal it will add a total row at the end and if you check the numbers it's all exactly the same this is all what we have on frequency distribution today in the comment please let me know which method of these methods are familiar to you and which one is completely new if you like the video please like it share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video and bye